Hey traders, welcome back to another daily profit and loss recap video. Today is Monday, July 24th. I just finished up trading for the morning and I locked in $1,651 in trading profits. In this video, we're going to break down these two trades and talk about my thought process behind them so that hopefully you can take something from my trading and apply it to your own. Let's get right into it. The first trade for me today was with the stock AMC. Everyone knows AMC, of course, because of the big short squeeze that there was with this stock in the past. So this morning when there was a nice size gap up going on, um, there was some news associated with it, of course, as well. It was automatically going to be on my watch this morning for a gap and go once it finally started to form a bottom um, because it did kind of just start to pull back and sell off a bit in the pre-market session. But uh, the key here is to wait for that bottom to form, wait for some kind of bullish reversal to set up rather than trying to buy into the stock while it's still falling lower and lower and lower. Doing that is kind of a guaranteed way to take a loss on the trade. And you have to keep in mind that when you're trading a reversal like we did with AMC, it's almost always better to be a little bit late to that trade than it is to be a little bit too early. So with AMC, what I was looking for initially was that AMC was going to form a double bottom right around $5 and then start to squeeze out some short sellers. For now, at that point in time, that was at 944 in the morning. I was just watching. I wasn't in any position just yet. We had at that time a low that formed right at about $5.01. And as we can see, if we keep up with the price action, it did start to fall back under that $5 level, but it then a few minutes later started to reclaim $5, which to me was a bullish sign. And especially after the high volume dip that happened under $5, there are likely some short sellers trapped. And because of that, it was a really good setup for a reversal and the beginning of a bit of a short squeeze. So that was kind of the commentary that I was posting in the group at the time. If we take a look at the price action at the time, we can see here is where it starts to pull back under the $5 level. Typically when a stock is breaking down to new lows, that of course is a bearish sign for the stock. So that would not necessarily be a sign on its own that it's ready to reverse and start moving back up. However, once we get a new low on high relative volume, you can see the volume candles back here are pretty significant compared to the volume candles before. And then the important part here is that the price immediately starts to come back up. It immediately recovers those losses, pushes back above that $5 level. That is where things got interesting in this trade because that means that this breakdown that happened right here under $5 per share was just a quick false breakdown or a bear trap in other words to suck in and trap some short sellers. So once it reclaimed that, that is where I took my starter position in this trade. I then added a bit to the position once it pulled back again under $5 and started to reclaim it. And as we can see, it did kind of just slowly but surely move up higher lows and higher highs. And it started to reject this $5.27 area. Um, and we see that from there, we get a bit of a sell off back down to the low fives. At that point in time from my initial trade, my stop loss was underneath this morning low of $4.87. But once it started to climb up nicely, I moved my stop loss up to just under $5 per share. So if it did start to break back down under five, I was going to cut losses on this trade. And remember, all of my trades are talked about and discussed in real time in the Market Master Group. So I was also mentioning this at the same time in the Market Master Group to make sure the traders knew that this is where I was going to cut losses if the trade started to move against us. But fortunately, we can see it did continue to hold the $5 level started to bounce back up. I locked in a portion of my profits up in the high 520s once it started to rebound up there. Again, that 527 to 530 area was kind of acting as resistance. So that's why I took a portion of my profits at the time. And uh, we get a little bit of a pullback from there and it starts to rebound, ramps up into the VWAP and I lock in the rest of my profits. Ended up with a total of $810 in profits on that trade and we can see it is still continuing to climb higher and higher. So this was a really, really solid reversal trade here. We nailed pretty much the exact bottom buying in in the low fives, and it ended up being a really solid bounce. So very quickly, we had some traders that struggled a little bit with AMC today just because it was a little bit of a slower mover. Um, it was a bit choppy. There was quite a few pullbacks along the way, and even though there was higher lows and higher highs, those pullbacks can be a little bit concerning, especially if you are a newer trader. So we had a trader in the group say, I have such little capital and I'm not sure if I can take the stress of trading stocks like AMC for a profit of just $30. Any suggestions on what I could be doing differently? Cheaper stocks, more expensive stocks. 
Mind you, it was good education in movement, but it was pretty stressful for a small profit. Um, and then they said that they were still fairly new compared to the seasoned traders in this chat. It was the slight downs followed by the ups, but it did consistently make higher lows and higher highs. I am second guessing my decision to stay in after it falls. Um, and that is something that a lot of new traders struggle with. That's why the psychological aspect of trading is really so much more important even than the technical aspect of trading. The technical analysis and the strategies and all of that are really very easy to learn, but being able to execute them without the psychological aspects getting in the way is a completely different story and that's where a lot of traders struggle. So to answer the question, this is something that I've mentioned a few times here in these profit and loss recap videos. Um, and it's really just to have a trade plan in place before you even get into the trade. So like I mentioned, when I was initially buying some AMC, my risk level was the morning low of $4.87. So I knew that if I was buying in the low fives, and it ended up pulling back under five and starting to break down to new lows, I was going to cut losses on the trade, and it was just going to be a small loss. That alone in itself is very helpful because now you know that the trade is either going to move in your favor or it's going to fall and you're going to have to take a small loss on the trade. On top of that, like some of the traders in our chat have mentioned, it's very important and very helpful to also track data for your trades. If you're tracking all of your data and you see that historically you tend to sell out of your trades, for example, on a pullback like we see happen right here at about 1020 this morning, and then after you sell and cut losses on the trade, the stock price starts to rebound. If you see that happen time and time again by tracking data from your trades, that of course is a great sign that you are selling too early. You need to be a little bit more patient. You need to give them a little bit more wiggle room and just let them either fall all the way down to your risk level or let them of course work in your favor until they reach your profit target and you start to take profits on the trade. All right, but anyway, with all of that being said, that was my trade with AMC. The other trade that I placed today was with the stock TUP. TUP was a really nice setup this morning at the market open because if we take a look here um, at the bigger picture, we can see it was climbing higher and higher all throughout the pre-market session. It was gapping up from Friday's closing price and we get ourselves an opening range breakout level here at the market open, which is going to be the high of these first few minutes at $1.43. Okay, so that's our opening range breakout level. Of course, this was posted in the market master group as well. And uh, once it started to break out above that level, that's where I took a position in this trade for a quick scalp. My average price was right at about $1.48. I had 3,000 shares on this trade, and I knew that my risk level was going to be down here in the 120s because the low of this pullback here is $1.28. So I was risking about $0.20 cents per share on this trade, or about $600. With the way that I like to trade, that is typically the maximum that I like to lose on any given losing trade. That's why I chose a maximum of 3,000 shares for this trade, because if I would have gone to 5,000 shares, for example, then I would have been risking $1,000 had it reached my risk level. But anyway, we can see it pretty much right away moves really nicely in my favor. This was a very solid opening range breakout. Pushes up into the 180s. At the time, I posted that the next resistance level for TUP is $1.87 because if we're looking at the daily chart, $1.87 is the high of this day here. And above that price, we have a nice gap to fill all the way up to almost $2.50. So a lot of times when you have these daily chart gaps, the stock will tend to reject that area before it starts to break into that gap zone. So that was kind of my thought process and that is why I started to sell in the 170s. I locked in my profits in that area and took $841 in profits on that trade, which brought my overall profits for the day up to $1,651. Very quickly, I just want to also cover FYBR. I have a small position in FYBR right now as well, but I'm still holding on to these shares and I'm not going to have time to finish recording this video later in the day. So I have to record it now and I'll make sure to cover my trade in FYBR in tomorrow's video. But for now, what I was looking for in this trade was a break above the previous day's high. The reason for that is because down here on the daily chart, we can see this had a very strong bounce back from its recent sell off. And on Friday, we get this inside bar set up with a bit of a bullish candlestick on the daily chart. So for me, because this was in the trade plans over the weekend for the market master group, once I saw it pretty much immediately at the market open, start to push above the high of Friday's price, that was a bullish setup for a push up towards $18 per share. So I took a starter position and so far I'm just holding on to it. It's kind of just traded sideways for most of the morning. 
and I'm looking to ideally lock in some profits up in the 1790s, but we will see how it turns out tomorrow. So make sure to check back in for tomorrow's profit and loss recap video as well. All right, but anyway, those were my trades for the day and my main focuses. I locked in $1,651 in profits. Great start to the week, and I hope you found some value in me recapping these trades here in this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you want to hear about these stocks that I'm trading in real time, as well as work with our team of traders, get access to our day trade swing trade alerts, our detailed trade plans, our live custom scanner streams, and so on and so forth. All of that can be found in the Market Master group. There's going to be a link down below in the description for you to get signed up. Anyway, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed and good luck with your trading.